In the next 162 seconds, I will show you why you need Docker, what it is all about, and what are the three key components that you need to understand before using Docker. Let's get started. Does this sound familiar? You're coding your new groundbreaking application, and after a mind-numbing, late-night debugging session of pain, sweat, and tears, your code finally works. Yeah. Broadly, you send it to your colleagues, they all try firing up your incredible application on their machines and... Why does it not work anymore? How is this even possible? You look into the judging eyes of your peers and you know it's coming. The looming phrase, but it worked on my machine. Yeah, that's the moment you realize you need Docker. But what is Docker? In a nutshell, Docker provides you with a small magic box for your application. Whenever you send your application to a new environment, you put it into the magic box and it just works. Wow! How can I learn this dark magic? I can hear you asking. Let me show it to you. For our magic box to work, we need three core ingredients. Wait, do you already have my awesome Docker cheat sheet? No? What are you waiting for? Go get it! You find the link below, print it out and slap it onto your wall. It has all the magic formulas you need throughout this rapid fire Docker series. So, where were we? All right, the three core ingredients. A Docker file, a Docker image, and a Docker container. Let's look at the Docker file first. Imagine it as a crafting manual for your magic box, so everything and everyone knows how this thing should be built. It is a simple text file serving as a step-by-step -step instruction script on how to build and run your application. With this file in hand, you can use it as a blueprint to create Docker images with one easy line of code, Docker build. The resulting Docker image is a snapshot of your application, but in a portable and deployable state. Your images can contain a wide range of things like scripts, database systems, servers, whole ready-to-run applications, monkeys, wait, no, no, no monkeys. With the command docker run and the name of your image, you can transform your image into a running container, wherever you want. Finally, the container. This is your finished and sealed magic box. It is a runnable instance of your image, aka your running application. Your application lives only in this container and is completely walled off from everything else on the new machine. Therefore, there are no dependencies and the machine and your application run smoothly. Oh, I can see it in your eyes. You can't wait to start building your own magic box, right? Then off with you to my next video and I will show you how to take the first step by creating your own Docker files. See you in the next one.